Good afternoon, young Israel of Muncie and Wesley Hills. I hope all are well, and Be'ezer Hashem will stay well. Rashi comments, citing a Gemara back in Parshas Vayishlach, that Yaakov Avinu, after helping his family cross Mavar Yabok, he then went back, he went, he went back across the river, went back the other side, and Rashi cites Chazal that the reason why he did so was Shochach Pachim Ketanim had some empty jugs, some some empty bottles or jugs that he wanted that he had left over. And on the surface, it's very difficult to understand the risk of your life. You ended up getting into the fight with with Soro Shalesa, with Esav's angel, just because he went back for these Pachim Ketanim. Explains from Chaim Shulavitz, Yaakov Avinu recognized that every iota. Of any, whether material, whether a talent, whatever he had was from Hashem, and if somehow these pachim ketanim fell into his possession, they they were given to him by Hashem for a reason, and not his to wantonly throw away or ignore. Chumash tells us Elif Gudeya Mishkan Mishkan Hoedos that every single cent. Every piece of gold and silver and the choshes and tcheles, every item donated to the base to the Mishkan, was calculated precisely because whatever we have, whether it be material possessions, whether it be other gifts, whatever we have has to be used for kodesh, is given to us by Hashem and has to be channeled towards a higher purpose. It would appear that in the times in which we find ourselves a very high purpose, and perhaps our primary focus is to be focusing on one another. Ish l'reihu yomar chazak. And allow me to suggest a couple of very specific areas in which we as a community can begin to strengthen ourselves in this area. Number one, my thanks to Chaim Malks for a long overdue spearheading a proper full young Israel of Muncie Wesley Hills WhatsApp group. And numbers two and three, each of us is to think all the time, not just about ourselves, but to pick one family. You don't have to tell that other member, don't have to tell that friend, don't have to tell that other individual. But for whatever the reason is, you may be concerned or just serve as a second set of eyes and ears. Think, pick one family that you're going to consider and take care of and worry about and daven for the same way during this time that you're concerned about your own family. And number three, each of us, ideally on a daily basis, to the extent that we're able to, is to pick up the phone, a text, to call or text somebody we have not spoken to in 30 days, the Midrashim tell us that in the aftermath of the Magaifa, the terrible plague described at the end of the book of Shmuel, after David took the census, great time for the census to begin, the Chachamim at that time, David enacted the Meya Brachos, the antidote to that plague was consciously reciting a hundred Brachos each and every day Maya brachas, Andre brachas, whether eating in our whether when we go to the bathroom, davening, pay attention, count them up. All of us are going to help one another, and we're also going to be much more particular in the brachas that we say and look for a hundred brachas every single day. And finally, unfortunately, the Shabbos does not appear as that we will be back in Shul. That's going to come with everybody else, but there's still Rosh Chodesh Benjamin. We, are st- we still say the Hiratzon that can be said be Yechidus without a minion, and we daven to Hashem that, that this month should be one of Chaim Aruchim, Chaim Shel Shalom, Chaim Shel Bracha, Chaim Shel Chilotz Atzamos. We should all be healthy, and Chaim Shimale Hashem, Hashem should grant us. Kol Mishalos Libenu Litova, Amen Selah. Have a very good Shabbos.